In this video, we're talking about multiplication and division of mixed numbers. Remember that a mixed number is a whole number plus a fraction. So when I say 4 and 1 half, I have the whole number 4 and the fraction 1 half, and this is 4 and a half, which is halfway between 4 and 5. So we have mixed numbers. What happens when we want to multiply mixed numbers or we want to divide mixed numbers? Well, the easiest way to do it is going to be to change the mixed numbers into an improper fraction. And the way that we do that is we'll start here with 4 and 1 half. We want to change this to an improper improper fraction. Remember that an improper fraction is a fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. So here, to change the mixed number into an improper fraction, we're going to take the denominator, which is 2, multiply it by the whole number. So 2 times 4 gives us 8. Then to that result, I'm going to add the numerator. So 8 plus 1 is 9. And then I take 9 and put it over my original denominator. So 4 and 1 half becomes 9 halves. Then I'm going to multiply that by whatever I get when I change 5 and 3 fourths to an improper fraction. So I'll do 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 3 is 23. So then I take 23 over my original denominator, or 23 fourths. And now I've turned this just into a simple fraction multiplication problem. So I multiply across my numerators. 9 times 23 gives me 207. And 2 times 4 gives me 8. I can't reduce this fraction at all, so this is my final answer. I can leave my final answer as an improper fraction, where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator, or if I want to, I can change it back into a mixed number. If I want to change it back into a mixed number, I just divide 8 into 207. So I say 8 into 207. 8 goes into 20 two times. 2 times 8 is 16. Subtracting 16 from 20, I get 4. Then I bring down the 7. 8 goes into 47 5 times. 5 times 8 is 40. And my remainder then is 7. So because 7 is less than 8, my remainder here is less than my divisor. I know that I'm done. And I can say that 207 over 8 is the same thing as 25 here. I take my result 25 and then the remainder over the divisor. So 25 and 7 eighths is the same thing as 207. Let's do another example with multiplication. Here I have 2 and 1 fourth times 1 and 1 fifth. I want to change them to improper fractions. So this first one here, I'm going to do 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. So I'm going to get 9 over my original denominator of 4. I'm multiplying that by 1 and 1 fifth. So 5 times 1 gives me 5. 5 plus 1 gives me 6. So I'm going to have 6 over 5. Then I just multiply across my numerators. 9 times 6 is 54. 4 times 5 is 20. And remember, I can leave my final answer as an improper fraction, but it has to be a reduced improper fraction. And I can reduce this fraction by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 2. So when I divide both by 2, I'll get 27 over 10. And now this is a reduced improper fraction. I can leave it this way, or I can change it back to a mixed number by dividing 10 into 27. So I can do the long division, or I can just realize that 10 will go into 27 two times, but not three times, because 10 times 3 would be 30, which would be greater than 27. So I know it'll go in two times, and I'll just be left with 7 over 10. So it's either 27 over 10 or 2 and 7 tenths. Either answer is acceptable. Now what happens when I want to divide mixed numbers? Here I have 4 and a half divided by 5 and 3 fourths. Well, we want to start the same way we did before by changing both mixed numbers to improper fractions. This is the same problem we had up here, except now we're doing division instead of multiplication. So we know that the improper fractions are going to be the same. So here I'm going to have 9 halves. Remember, 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9. 9 over the original denominator of 2. So 9 halves divided by, remember, 23 fourths. And now, instead of doing division, what I know about dividing fractions is that I can change this division to multiplication as long as I take the reciprocal of this second fraction. So what this is going to become then is 9 halves. Instead of division, I do multiplication. And then I flip this upside down. I take its reciprocal. So instead of 23 over 4, I get 4 over 23. And now this just turns into a multiplication problem, just like we had up here. And we know what to do with multiplication. We multiply across our numerators. 9 times 4 is 36. 2 times 23 is 46. I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2, and I'll get 18 over 23. And now this is a reduced fraction, so I can leave my fraction that way. It's not an improper fraction, so I'm not going to change it to a mixed number. So my final answer then is 18 over 23. Let's look at one more division problem. Again, I'll change these to improper fractions. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 1 is 9, so I get 9 over 4. 
divided by 5 times 1 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6, so 6 over the original denominator of 5. But this is going to become 9 fourths instead of dividing by 6 over 5, I'm going to multiply by 5 over 6. So I take the reciprocal, I flip this fraction upside down, and I multiply instead of divide. And now I can just multiply across my numerators, 9 times 5 is 45, and 4 times 6 is 24. I can divide both the numerator and the denominator by 3. 45 divided by 3 is 15. 24 divided by 3 is 8. So this is a reduced improper fraction, so I can leave my final answer this way, or I can change it to a mixed number and say 8 goes into 15 one time with 7 left over. So I'm going to get 1 and 7 eighths, or 15 eighths. And that's how you do multiplication and division with mixed numbers.